So recently I've been on a bit of a drawing kick. Uh, I've been doing a lot of these portraits and I kind of wanted to share them with you guys because um, you know I don't I don't only do makeup. I do other things too so I wanted to share these with you and I hope you enjoy them and maybe it'll help you learn a little bit because they are a little bit different um, from each other especially this first one. It's supposed to be this kind of uh, old guy who's a vampire but like he's a weird kind of vampire where like his, his blood's messed up so he kind of just looks dead and um, I was, this is a drawing that I was doing for somebody and then he said that he wanted the scar to be bigger so I kind of just like he said you know screw it a whole part of his face is missing and this was actually a really big challenge for me because I had to do a lot of like um, I was drawing a lot of like muscle structure which is not something I'm used to so I had to look up a couple diagrams and I'm honestly super happy with how it came out um, it was actually relatively easy you know all things considered uh, but I, I had a lot of fun doing it yeah mainly because it was such a big challenge for me or it's not a huge challenge but you know it was, it was a challenge I'd never done anything like this before The next few people that I'm drawing are going to be from RPGs, uh, TTRPGs that I'm going to be playing or am playing. Uh, this person is called Salem. They're going to be in this like GURPS Hunter x Hunter game that I'm going to be playing in with my friend Sean. And I had originally done like a more full body drawing, but I traced a lot of it, which I was honestly getting kind of annoyed of doing. And I really, really just wanted to like to just do a portrait and just get like more of an essence of like this is how he looks this is how he is and I and then he came out really good like he was a lot more youthful in this picture like I had originally had wanted him to be because in the first uh, drawing that I had done of him his features were really angular and he seemed really upset and that's not what I wanted because he's supposed to be this like happy-go-lucky like kitsune dude um, and yeah, I just, I think it just came out way better. And I think he just looks adorable. And I think I especially love his hair. Cause it's like, just, it's really beautiful hair. And I worked really hard on it and it came out so freaking good. Uh, this next person is named Underhill, Underhill Vaughn. Uh, he is a vampire that I'm going to be playing in this Vampire the Masquerade game, a game that I've been wanting to play for months, basically ever since this whole uh, Wizards of the Coast D&D fiasco that was happening, where I was kind of starting to move away from Dungeons and Dragons a little bit, just because, you know, the company that owns them just just kind of being jerks so I was kind of starting to just branch out into other games and that's how I kind of got into deciding I wanted to play VTM. Also I had been watching a few of like live plays um, that had been going on and I just I really wanted to play. And he was modeled after this guy on TikTok that I, um, I don't follow him but I just thought he was really attractive and I was like I want to look like you. Uh, so I was kind of like, I'm going to have this vampire be kind of look like you. He doesn't look exactly like him, but I use his color palette. And uh, uh, if he ever sees this, I'm going to tag him in it. Uh, so he has some sort of credit, I guess. But um, I hope he likes it. He knows I'm, I'm uh, modeling a character after him because I put it in one of his comments. And he was like, that's pretty cool or something like that. And I, I hope he likes it. If he sees it, I doubt it though.
and I know what some of you might be thinking, yeah, he has a mullet, and that guy doesn't have a mullet, but at the time, I when I first came up with this, um, I really liked mullets, and I don't know why, and I was just like, I, well, I've always liked uh, dudes with like long curly hair, so I was like, let me give him a long curly mullet, and that's what I did, and it came out really good, and I like it. Fight me. And you know, when I first was drawing this, I was kind of just really trying to draw my character, uh, Billy Silver, for this, uh, which who is a, she's a D&D &D character that I'm playing and have been playing for a few weeks. And I had already made her um, character art like forever and a half ago, but then I'm, yeah, like I said, I had gotten into this uh, portrait art kick and I was like, I gotta, gotta draw her. And then it really wasn't until I was done drawing her that I realized she looked like a black version of Sarah Gray, who plays Alyssa Drake, or played, since the show's over, played Alyssa Drake on The Order. And it's not a bad thing. I think she's a beautiful person. That's just not necessarily what I was kind of going for, I guess. But it's fine. It's just, drawing still came out pretty good. Obviously, their hair is completely different from hers, but you know, it works. She still looks really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I enjoyed making it. Um, I hope this inspires you to make some beautiful art. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified of when I post, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.